reflection of the moon Hello, 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 and welcome to this episode of Jeans and Speak Sex Blog, where you, the audience, control the conversation. Now, today I want to tackle two topics, one of them being what my role is as an intimacy and sex coach. I realized that I did not touch on that in the introduction video, and that's probably some important information that you might want to know. So I'll give you what I do and what I do not do. So let's start with what I don't do. I am not in the bedroom with you showing you different sex moves and sex techniques to help you improve your sex life. They have uh, surrogate partners out there for those types of services. Also what I do not do is I do not provide therapy. So I don't dig deep into your past to find out what's happened to you as a child or what's happened to you in the past in general. Uh, we do very light work in terms of going into your past and it's very focused on your sexual past. But the main focus as, as a coach is how to get from where you are now to where you want to go in the future, what your goals are and getting you towards your goals based on where you're at right now. So that's a summary of what I don't do. What I do do is I heal, I motivate, I educate, and I guide people towards a ha happier, healthier, and more fulfilling and more pleasurable sex life. I also show people how to express their love and intimacy in more effective ways. And this is done through lectures, workshops, Q&A sessions, and also personal one-on-one -on -one and couples coaching. So that in a nutshell is what I do as an intimacy and sex coach. I can't forget, of course, I provide online content like this blog, and I also provide blogging content as well, where I write articles and, and, and give information and resources on how to improve your sex life and your intimacy as well. So that in a nutshell is what I do as a sex and intimacy coach. The second topic for today is dick pics, or pictures of penises sent over various forms of media, such as text messages or email, or any other form that you can send pictures on. Are they okay? And if they are okay, when do you send them? Well, to answer the first question, I think they are okay if they're sent within context, and that's any type of uh, media or any type of information you're transferring over media because things can be taken out of context very easily and they can be used in a way that you don't necessarily want them to be used. So I do think they're okay. And when to send them, uh, I would say is either when they are requested by the person you are, you know, communicating with or the person you're communicating with sends you a pic of equal value, I guess you can say. Um, so another pic, another new pic or a body part pic that says, okay, this is okay for us to engage in this back and forth type of uh, picture sent. Now, honestly, I think those are pretty much the only times, uh, with the exception of if you're in a relationship with someone. It doesn't have to be a, you know, necessarily a committed relationship, but if you've been sexual with someone and you continue to be sexual with that person, then I don't think that it's an issue unless that person says it is. So if you are going to send them, just remember to send them when they're requested or when you're getting a body part first being sent to you or when you've already been sexually active with a person and they haven't shown, um, as they haven't expressed that as being a problem to, to exchange those type of pictures. Uh, the one thing to kind of remember about it or the way to look at it is if you're not able to go to someone you're attracted to in person and just pull your penis out, then you probably don't want to send that same person 
a dig big because it's it's kind of along the same lines of, of just kind of putting it or forcing it onto someone without them having an option or a choice of whether they even want to accept it or not. So, you know, that's something that's really important is consent and permission. So, uh, yeah, so that's the topic for the day. And I'd like to say thank you. I'd like to also say if you want to like or subscribe to this page, please do on the bottom of this video. And I look forward to hearing your comments <clears throat> and or questions. And I also look forward to the next episode. Thank you very much. I'll talk to you all later.